93 FM 92.7. If there are any comments on the, the progress report and the updates given by the yes, FCJ Yes, office. I have a comment. A couple of comments. Uh, I want to find out. You know, we have expressed our position that we are totally against any registration that will be confined to district offices of the commission. And we still stand by that position. Because we believe that it is not in accord with even the electoral commission's own laws. But I want to find out uh, whether the commission went to parliament to seek appropriation for the refurbishment of the uh, biometric kits, and was that appropriation approved both in 2018 and in the current year? And if it was approved, on what basis did the Commission justify that appropriation only to turn around to say that uh, spending that money on the equipment will be a uh, waste of resource. Sure the Commission owes this response to the political parties. I think the Commission has been dealing with Parliament and we've gone in there to explain our budget and we've explained to them the decisions we have taken, why we believe that the initial you know, presentation made has been varied and I believe that Parliament has accepted it. I'm not sure that we owe this response to the political parties. What I think that we want to make clear is that when the commission you know, took office, there was a proposal before the commission to refurbish the existing biometric system. And by refurbishing, I mean by to refurbish the existing kits that we have and the current data center. We all agree that the current technology only captures the fingerprints and it has not been helpful to eliminate the manual verification and I see the accusations coming particularly from the NDC when we had the just ended referendum there was a high incidence of manual verification and there was some accusation that it leads to corruption and we all want to eliminate that in, in the view of the biometric consultant refurbishing just the DVDs alone vis-a-vis -vis new kids would cost you $20 million more. And therefore, nothing stopped the Commission from exploring, you know, the new technology. You look at technology, the new technology is able to give you facial recognition and capture fingerprints as well. It's accurate, it's user-friendly. If you compare that to what we have, it's obsolete, very difficult to use, and it's not sharp. And that is the reason why the Commission was of the view that why spend money, $20 million more, to refurbish kids when you can, when you, old kids, obsolete kids, huge kids. You look at the kids and it's like a suitcase going to marry somebody at an engagement. And we are prepared. I mean, these are discussions that we are, are just beginning. And we are prepared. You are going to be involved in all of that. But why spend money buy with a sole vendor and just with the DVDs, you are spending $20 million more when you could bring on board current modern technology that is sharp, that is easy to use, that is user-friendly, that will reduce to a large extent the manual verification. And therefore, that is what informed the Commission's decision not to procure the go on board, to go ahead to procure kids. I think that you have to understand us. The parties ought to understand us in the interest of this country. Going for electoral area registration means that we would have to bring on board additional kids. Yeah. You, I mean, this is a meeting. You can, you can express your views thereafter. But I think that going for registration on the electoral area basis, and Mr. Sedum Ketia, we gave you that respect when you were speaking, so we allow us to explain. You ask the question, and we are answering you. So please allow us. 
We are making what their side. You are making what their side and uh, obstructing the discussion. No, he has not said uh, that. No, you were laughing. Uh, so laughter interrupts. No, but when you were talking, we didn't. It's Please, like you are really clear. I beg you. I beg you. Those who are making the noise, I have kept quiet. I'm not part of what is happening. If you have a personal problem against me, you may bring it up. We do but not please. have. We, but please, yeah. we do not have a please. problem against you. As I am speaking, I see you laughing. <laughs> and so laughter, I think laughter and disruption, which is which, so, which, which in my view. view. So if I'm smiling, it means I cannot smile. You are laughing. So Both. I cannot laugh. Both. So I cannot laugh. Both. I think that we gave you Madam, the respect. If you start respect, talking, no. start is laughing. Respect yeah. is and if you put yourself in a respectable position, yeah. people will respect you. Yes. And so, so that's the advice with you as well. That, that's so we expect that when but you are talking, the Look, yeah, we are the question I ask, I don't think that it, 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 it solicited all the information you are bringing up. It I'm has. asking you a simple question. And you go on delivering thesis. Let us deliver a thesis. I think it's for the right good people of this country. I'm sure you will end at some point for we, me to continue. Yes, so you we, proceed. Yes, we will proceed.